All right, so I did something, huh? <laughs> Another Craigslist trade. I had a, uh, oh, well, it was the tiller that was over there. Um, wound up trading it for two motorcycles. This is a 1983 Suzuki GS550L. And this is an 84 uh, Suzuki GS550L. Um, obviously, this is going to be the, the parts bike. <clears throat> uh, uh, it does have the seat. It's, it fell. <laughs> it's down in there. But uh, pretty good seat. So let me, uh, let me take this off real quick. And this is going to suck because I just got this a couple days ago. And I've been too busy to even look at it. <laughs> uh, today is a perfect day. It's like 74 degrees or something like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, 74 degrees and then there's supposed to be a cold front come in tonight and let's see here here's the weather forecast <laughs> so it's going to be way too cold for me to do anything and even if I scroll on over so I'm not going to be able to work on it for a while so this is going to suck but I do have a uh a manual that I bought for it should be coming in uh, fairly soon. Oh, dang it. So let me tell you what uh, the guy said. He said that uh, take this off. He said the bike runs great. Um, he rode it for quite a while, and it burned up the uh, the CDI box. He called it a TDI box, but I'm pretty sure he's talking about the CDI box. <laughs> um, so he bought a new CDI box, put it in, and uh, said it ran great for about an hour, um, and then died. CDI box went out again. So uh, he thought, well, maybe it was just a bad, a bad CDI box that he had. So he. Uh, he went and bought another one, put it in, and sure enough, killed it in about a, an hour and a half, hour or so. So, he bought this whole parts bike. Um, this is supposed to have a CDI box. Um, and I was looking at it, and it does have this big old crack in the back. So hopefully this is a good one. Um, rectifier and stuff. So he, and he's got, I don't know how many bikes this guy had. He had um, probably about four or five other bikes that he, that runs and drives. And so he didn't, he didn't really want to mess with this and dive in too deep with uh, all the electrical issues that it, it may or may not have. Um, but from what I understand, I was doing a little bit of research and, um, and this is kind of just, um, what do you call it? Like from my experience with working on ATVs and uh, dirt bikes and stuff like that, but uh, a lot of times whenever your CDI box burns up, there's a couple of things. There's a bad ground, um, could be one cause of it, and then another cause is that your uh, your stator is putting out too much voltage and it's spiking across and and blowing up that that little computer deal um, and rectifier could also be a, a problem with that so like I said I got the uh, the parts manual on the way I also have both side covers something like that got that one and then the other ones laying down there on the ground somewhere but uh yeah i got the the service manual coming in so i'll be able to find out what the resistance should be and all the 
uh, stator and all that stuff just to make sure to start off with and hopefully I can get that going I might have me a little a little bike um, it did come with both titles on it so uh, he said this come on, I hate that dog he said this um, this engine is is no good uh, I, I hadn't looked into it I don't know um, but maybe I have some an extra coil I can use the gas tank um, is in real good condition it's not bolted on uh, like I said the seat actually this this seat came off of this one um, the seat that was on that one is right yeah that's a good it's a good seat it just had a, a patch job that kind of crappy but you know it just had that little patch job on there anyways uh, it does have you know, clutch cables good on that uh, it didn't come with a key that was one thing um, and the front brake not working but uh, yeah there's other lots of lots of parts I can use the, uh, the, the tires on this are actually better than this. See all that dry rot? Yeah, I'll be switching that out <laughs> before, uh, well, once I get this going anyway, so I'll, I'll be switching that out. Uh, but yeah, this one has 17,000 miles, and this one has only 7,000 miles. So, pretty excited. Uh, I guess if y'all got any comment rate, if you if you have any tips on what else I can look for, um, trying to diagnose this and figure out what's wrong, uh, shoot, feel free to feel free to yell at me. Like I don't even know what that is. I know it needs a new battery too. But uh, but yeah, all right. Well, I'll quit blabbing and. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Comment rate. See ya.